And now we get to be shoulder to shoulder with all sorts of people. Welcome, welcome. It's gonna feel crowded in here. You all have permission to turn on your cameras, turn on your microphones and say hello to the field as you are getting in. I'm gonna say hello and I'm gonna say I brought my own cocktail. <laughs> <laughs> in a little bag, bag no less. Thanks. Mine's a, uh, in this virtual reality, mine's a soda, because I don't think you want me with alcohol in my hands right now. <laughs> I'm jealous, Kate. Are you in the office? All I have is water. Mm -mm. <laughs> 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 Cheers, Kate. Cheers. 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 I love that our drinks Hi. just disappear. They just disappear. What drink? Yeah, I don't know what you're <laughs> Good people, Usually good people. We are seeing lots of friends. Probably will have to tap mm -hmm. through just yes. to see everybody that's coming Thank into God. the room. Fantastic. I see Francis Mary, and I see Marie and Kay Farrell. Hi, Kay. Hi. Mike Wood. Hey. Look at all these wonderfully famous people. Oh, <laughs> There's Rob Hare. I told you we'd have a drink together, Rob. <laughs> Again, all of you have the ability to turn on your mic and turn on your camera. Right now there are 59 of us in here, and that means it can get a little loud, could get a little shoulder to shoulder noisy, but it's okay. The goal is to actually meet and see who's actually here at annual meeting. Some of us are old friends, but others, please make a new friend. That's also a goal in annual meeting. Inside Crowd Compass, you can also find people inside there and you can actually uh, connect with people through Crowd Compass. So if you see somebody in here that you haven't seen in a decade and wanna say hi, don't forget you have that at your fingertips as well. There is also the chat that you can use the chat in there to also speak to folks. I'm still seeing connecting bubbles, which means some people are still connecting their audio in here. Why is why Laura's, Laura's screenshot screen backwards? Why is Laura's, I don't know why you're- Oh, there's an either. option in Zoom to mirror your image. Uh -huh. So you see, your, you see what you would normally see in the mirror. I had the same thing. Oh. I, I had the same thing. That's the uh -huh. reason I know that. You had the screenshot better? backwards. You're backwards, Laura. I'm it's still just backwards. unique. <laughs> <laughs> At least well, it's purple. Here's here's the thing. Okay, so I tried that whole mirror thing, and I didn't like when I moved to the right. I moved to the left. So yeah. I tried to get fancy and flip my image, and then upload that one, and then turn that off. So I guess that didn't work. <laughs> Sorry about that. I'll try to fix it. That's okay. We're still getting people rolling in. We're up to 66 folks. Look Ooh, at all those cameras. Okay, so while you're in Zoom, you've probably been to maybe one meet and greet in this world. Maybe not. But at the moment, I have so many cameras on here. What I'm going to ask you to do is I'm going to guess anyone who has their camera on to wave to their camera. Wave to me. Say hello. Hi, everyone. Hello. Hello. Awesome. <laughs> it was great to see all those hands. I know we're not shoulder to shoulder up in the suite, but if you've ever been to annual meeting where you probably would be right now is up on the top floor of the hotel. We would be feeding you with lots and lots of goodies and there would definitely be this bar that you could get a drink at. So hopefully you are having a toast somewhere in your vicinity. If you are at work, you're gonna to have to sneak it in the door. Some of our West Coasters might actually not be at home and realize that this is the social end of things and it is okay. We're all adults here and it's not school and it's allowed. So that's one of those things to just shake off. You're okay. And I am actually going to turn it over to Laura for a moment. And is Craig in here? I can't see his face. He is probably on a different screen of mine. Craig is here. 
He's on he made it screen to the three. Suite. He's there he is. <laughs> screen three. He might be on a different screen for every single person in here. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Le Leanne, did I did I fix my photo or am I still backwards? You're good. Oh, okay. You fixed it. I fixed it. I fixed it. it so much for trying to uh, get fancy with technology. It didn't work out for me. So now I'm just moving backwards. Um, I'm Laura Huff. Um, uh, I'm the executive assistant here at APH. And I uh, just want to say if you are all coming from the virtual Hall of Fame induction, then wow, these leaders in our field just leave me humbled. And you know, to all the panelists, if you all are in here, I don't know who all's in here, but um, you all did an incredible job honoring these amazing women. And Ann and Kathy, I'm not sure if they're in here somewhere, but I just want to say you're both amazing. And all I can do is toast water, but I will be sure to toast you tonight because you make me feel like an underachiever. <laughs> so, um, um, but I appreciate that. It challenges us to all be better, so that's really great. Um, so this is the first time I've been in a Zoom room with this many people. My gosh, how many are we up to now? 68. Yeah, 68. That's not too bad. That's mm -hmm. not too bad. Okay, I can, I can handle that. Uh, Leanne Grillot, she's amazing at handling big groups like this at Zoom, so <laughs> she'll be helping me along, hold my hand. Um, so hopefully no technology hiccups. Hopefully the backwards photo is all we'll have to deal with here. <laughs> so, um, it's great to see you all here at annual meeting. Um, this platform, it's going to be a little bit loose, just like if we were in person at the reception. There's not a whole lot of rules except for mix and mingle and eat and drink and have a good time. Um, I hope you'll have an opportunity to catch up with some familiar faces that you hadn't seen in a while and maybe meet a few new people. Uh, so that's what we're going to attempt to do tonight. Um, we, I want to start off, I know, I don't know if we have time to do introductions for all 67 no, of, them, out of you. So what I'd like to do is start out with um, maybe letting Craig Metter introduce himself. Most of you know him, but we have a far reach this year at virtual or at annual meeting. So maybe you don't. Um, so uh, if we could introduce Craig and then maybe a few other leaders here from APH that are on the line then that would be a great start. So Craig, are you ready? Oh, no mute, he has no microphone. That's so he can enjoy his drink in private, right? There no, I Oh, there you go. Where's your beer? So I've got another one. The other one says unmute. Oh. Okay, there we go. We can hear you. Um, yeah, you can hear me? Yep. It's good. All right, well, uh, for, for those who've been to APH before, you know the drill. For those who haven't been, uh, jump right in and, and get to know people and start talking. As mentioned before, usually we would be plying you with spirits and food. Uh, you're on your own. Rain check this year, next year, we'll, we'll take care of you. So just come back next year. Um, work with a wonderful team, and you've met many of them so far, and um, I don't know. I, I think the best thing for me to do is shut up and get out of the way. So, toasting all of you, starting out with a uh, Founders All Day IPA. So, um, in your honor. I'm a little disappointed, Craig. You know I'm just two blocks away. I, I know. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Are you hey, ready to? In, oh, you got you got in. Go for it. I was going to see if if any of the other uh, APH leaders here want to say hi. And most people may know you, yeah. but you want to say hi. Well, usually, if there's a reception, they know me. So I'm, <laughs> in her, I'm the <clears throat> vice president, chief officer of innovation and strategy at APH. And boy, I wish you were all here in Louisville with us. I wish we were partying here together. And we were going till the wee hours of the morning like we normally do and moving this reception over to hell at the moon and dancing all night long. I wish that's what we were doing. <clears throat> but <laughs> next year, hopefully we will. Um, I wanna encourage everybody, uh, you know, one of the great things about an annual meeting for those of you who have never come before is this is our chance to listen to you and to hear what you have to say about our products. That's how we learn. 
And so, you know, usually when you're drinking, that's when we hear the best comments ever. So please <laughs> be uh, as clear with us as you possibly can. Um, be as forth with as you possibly can. We like those uh, very candid comments. So drink up, be honest, bring it on. Welcome. Thanks, Ann. Is there, is there anybody else from APH who'd like to do a quick shout out? I don't know who all is on the call. I have my screen here. It would take me a while to get through everybody. So anybody? I'm just going to do a shout out for Frances Mary Soup over in the comments. She's sharing. <laughs> Mary has soup. It sounds lovely, and, and Steve is making oh, biscuits right. to go with it, which sounds even better. My wonderful husband made me lasagna. That's nice. Anybody okay, else? no one else is speaking. Are you ready to try the breakout rooms and give them a go? Oh, sure, sure. Oh, okay, yeah. so, um, so I've picked out a few topics to get things going, but I'd also like to see if... Sometime, um, this is where Leanne comes in. I don't know exactly how this works, but if you can throw comments into the chat, maybe, on things that you would like to talk about, and maybe after a topic or two, we can mix things up and talk about what you all want to talk about. So, um, but in the interim, uh, we'll start with kind of talking about the elephant in the room, um, something a lot of us are talking about, probably a little tired of talking about, which is COVID-19. But um, in the spirit of optimism, um, I'd like for everyone to focus on what you most, what you're most looking forward to doing after COVID is behind us. So instead of focusing on, you know, all of our woes over the last uh, seven, eight months here, it's um, we're gonna want you to focus on the better part of better together. Um, so sky's the limit. Uh, maybe something that you had planned for 2020 that may have been postponed or you didn't get to do. Um, or it might be something that you want to do that you wouldn't have considered pre-COVID. So, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to break you guys into breakout rooms. So you actually have an opportunity to meet some of the folks in this room. It's going to randomly assign you. You are going to hopefully get in a mix of people you've not met before. Maybe you know one or two. So when I move you into a breakout room, the opportunity to introduce yourself to the group that you got in touch with and then what do you look forward to doing after all of this lockdown stuff is gone? There is 67 people. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make six breakout rooms roughly, and then you have a small group with you. What will happen is you will disappear into one of those rooms with that group. You can click a button that moves you, or you can just wait and the computer will make you do it. And then what I'll do is I'll shoot out a warning and let you know we're coming back. I'm gonna give you 10 minutes. So if you got a really quiet person, one person gets roughly two minutes. Okay, you ready to give it a go? Okay, we're giving it a go. I'm creating them and I'm opening the rooms. Off you go. There it goes. You're all going into a room. Off to your room. Leanne, should I'll I stick around that. or should I join a room? Uh, I think it sends you. <laughs> it's sending me to room one. I just haven't hit join yet. <laughs> go disappear. Go ahead. Uh, go ahead. Okay. I'll go disappear. I'll be back. Uh, 10 minutes okay. may not be long enough. You might want to bump that up if there's 12 people that I want to get And some are getting it there. So, yeah, I, I'll watch it. Okay. See you shortly.
some of you are still hanging out with me. Hopefully your computer will move you. And if it doesn't move you, you're welcome to answer the question with me. Hello, Lynn, you ended up back with us. There you go.
Hello, Colleen, if you can hear me. Oh, you disappeared. And Pamela and Elizabeth, you are still with me. You're welcome to hang out with me. But most people are in a breakout room. And it wasn't selling me. <laughs> <laughs> Pick the right coat and the right time of year, and you are just fine. But it's, you could be shooting in the dark. I had one horrid cruise where I wish I hadn't gone because the boat was too rocky. So, yes, you can have good and bad cruises in that mix. Okay, how'd you all do? Hmm? It was pretty you get good. to meet somebody you that didn't know? Raise your virtual fun. hand if you got to meet someone you didn't know yet. Can you find your virtual hand or your real hand? Or your real hand. Good. I'm glad you're meeting people outside of your little circle. We're too far remote from most of us. Awesome. Okay, that was a great topic. Do you have another topic, Miss Laura? Well, I was wondering if anyone would like to reflect on their discussions. Mm. So I can say for our group, we did hear a whole lot of travel. Um, and let's see what else we heard. We heard sports, people miss it kind of turned into a conversation about what we missed more than anything. Um, sports, concerts, events, um, having people come to APH and visit our museum. Uh, I think it was, uh, who was it? Ann, was it Greg that said he's a uh, going to China and Japan, um, and oh travel my gosh. Travel was a great big one. Travel was a big one. I can't remember hugs. who was Hugs. Who was was hugs. 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 We're just going to hug people. We're yeah. going to hug everyone. Everybody's yeah. getting hugged. <laughs> yeah. It's a huggy group. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Any would anybody else like to speak to their group on some things that they may have missed out on or would like to do post COVID? What are we talking about? <laughs> what are you doing now? <laughs> I had to get, I had to get a drink. <laughs> we, we started going into what we don't, what we're, what we don't want to do, what we, ah. what, what we are, we're going to be glad when we don't have to do anymore. Right. So, okay. Yeah. You, you took it in reverse. Elbow bumps. Both, yeah, but both ways. We, we went both ways. We did too. <laughs> Anyone else want to share? This is just so fun to see faces that I haven't seen in a long time. And it's just, it's just <laughs> fun. And meet some new people in the breakout group and miss you all at APH. It's just not the same being October and not being in Louisville. Not the same, but this is great. This first day has gone gone well, don't you think? Right. Favorite session so far? I like the one on leadership. Yeah. Uh, all, all the panels. So. Hi, Leanne. It's Terry Turgeon. I'm from Perkins School for the Blind. I'm the EOT for the Infant Toddler Program. And um, you know, when we met as a group, we talked a lot about travel. I think everyone is just looking for a place to get away. We're all doing incredible work. And then, you know, one of our participants said that she just was so looking forward to seeing her mom, to be able to hug her mom, who is in an assisted living facility. And I think all of us can identify with that. So um, I just want to share that. And I think the um, leadership panel that we talked about earlier, we can all identify with. Thank you for uh, putting that up for all of us to participate in. Thank you. Great. One of our participants, I won't say who, said they were going to stalk Pepper Watson and hug her. So- It was me. Pepper, <laughs> look out, sister. I, 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 I was looking to see if I saw her here. Pepper, are you in here? I feel like I'm totally ADD because like I'm, yeah. I'm seeing friends and I like I'm chatting with some of you privately and I'm getting all excited and then I just saw UK and I was all excited about that and I'm doing stuff but I don't know where 
Pepper is. Yes, it's I'm here. Are Pepper. She's on I one of the screens. You got to scroll. There she is. Hi, Pepper. Hi. 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 Uh -oh. The colleague is noisy. <laughs> They don't like college. me saying hello to people. <laughs> They're jealous. They're used to you having, you know, giving them all of your attention, you know. Very much so. Very much so. Anyone else have something interesting that gets shared in their group? Well, on, on the subject of uh, elbow bumps and uh, hugs, uh, this didn't come up, but it's something I've talked about with an APH, APHers before, is I was really hoping as a culture we would start bowing. Like I was really hoping like the bow was going to come in. It was going to be huge. It was going to replace the handshake. No more handshakes. We're just going to bow from now on. And that, that hasn't happened. And I don't think, I think it's not, if it were going to happen, it would have happened by now. So. <laughs> we'll start the APH bowing movement. No. Yeah, no, I think it would be great. <laughs> just for you. <laughs> I vote for bowing. Um, I'm a, uh, a practitioner, so I bow. <laughs> you bow, okay. <laughs> I don't know. We got we got sidetracked into Zoom tips, and we started talking about virtual backgrounds and stuff. So we were way off. We were way, we, but I learned a new trick, so I can't wait till my group gets back on. So. <laughs> <laughs> got something to show them. <laughs> Yeah, we strayed from the uh, directions maybe just a little bit, but we had a lot of fun. <laughs> That's all that counts. <laughs> I was going to say, we were probably we the only ones that didn't follow the stuff. rules. That was good. Yeah. <laughs> all rules. <laughs> yep, that's what it's all about. There are no rules. You can talk about whatever you like. I'll just give you something that you might want to talk about. So um, anybody else want to share anything? I think we're ready to try it again. Okay, so uh, question, <laughs> Lynn, do you want to try it again or do you want to try again? We're just going to go straight into quit another breakout session or do Let's you want to Let's do try one more breakout session. Okay. I'm going to put you in the same group you were in before so that the people you've already met, if you stray off topic, at least those people know why you're straying off topic. Okay. All right, so um, next topic is why you might want to visit my city. Um, so this would be something that uh, is a chance for you all to tell us why we should come to your city, what you have that's special there, if it's something simple or grand, or maybe we shouldn't come to your city. By all means, let us know. Um, so that is our next topic. Okay, see you all in a bit. Yeah, I know. Blink. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just joined. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> that is okay. And I will, there are some people that have not, that just joined. So everyone is going into a breakout room and I will send you to one in a minute. If those of okay. you that hadn't been assigned one, I'm going to send you to a breakout room and you'll be in a smaller group of folks to be able to have the conversation. Got it. That just makes it a little bit easier and gives you a spot. So I'm going to start throwing you guys all in rooms and it'll move you there and then I will move you back. Off you go. So it shall take you or you can click a button. It'll do either way.
Hi, Jay. You have entered our meet and greet room. Everyone is in a small breakout room. Are you ready to join a breakout room? And they are discussing why anyone should visit or not visit where you live. Leanne, yes. I'm already in a group, but I was on my phone. So I just wanted to be in. I wanted to join on my computer. Oh, okay, do you remember I'm what gonna change you were in? I'm going to change. For, I'm sorry. I'm listening to them still. I'm in room. I'm in room three. Okay, I'll move you there. We are about 70 miles from Great Falls, where obviously you should move now. <laughs> Jillian, can you hear me? Yes. Welcome to the meet and greet. Everyone is in small rooms right now so that they can have a nice conversation because there's like 80 people in here. So I would love to assign you to a room. They're talking about why you should visit where you live or not visit where you live. <laughs> Are you ready to go to one? Sure. Okay. Ascension. Elizabeth, were you were you pointing at me for a reason? Did you need something? She Aww. didn't. So, you know, because she the 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 ceremony was over, so we didn't want her to. Not be ready really. to participate. <laughs> that is so sweet. That's great. Thank you. A drive-by party. How awesome. Nice. So hopefully she'll get back to her chair before we <laughs> this is over. And I'm going to have to leave. So thank. Good. Great to see all of you. Oh. I miss you so much. Well, hopefully Bye, we'll see, you tomorrow. Tomorrow. Okay. see you tomorrow. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. Tomorrow. Bye. So I am wondering, was there anyone out there that was from another country as opposed to a state? Any of our crew from a different country? Just curious. Well, okay, Hope Oh, Canada. Yeah, okay, Canada. So we have Canada. Awesome. That's great. So why should we visit Canada? I don't know if we're allowed to yet, but why should we? <laughs> what was shared? Can I represent the UK, even though I'm technically not in the UK? <laughs> you can represent the UK, of course. Perfect. I was going to put my uh, shirt on and everything next time. <laughs> Why should we visit the UK? You're not going to tell us why we should visit. I'll go. Okay, Kay. <laughs> oh, no, no, just because I love the UK. I love yeah. Scotland and England, and I'd go in a New York second. So wait, I'm wait, volunteering it, to go. That's was it. Richard saying that he's currently shirtless? No. <laughs> <laughs> he covered up. He covered up. I hope so. My goodness. So it's a typical like, what, evening wait, what at EPH on your meeting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love poutine. Trish, look at that. As soon as the oh, borders are open, come trouble. visit. I see trouble. <laughs> so where else did people decide that they're going to visit after talking to their group? Florida. Tampa specifically, right? Because of Stanley Cup and all that, I would think. That's right. And if you're a certified TVI, come on, we'll hire you. <laughs> <laughs> Shameless plug. I was going to go to St. Louis, but then the lady was telling me how it sways the arch when she went up there. So not going there now. <laughs> <laughs> Can't even build an arch that doesn't sway. <laughs> I think as we looked at COVID numbers, we were more deciding where we wouldn't go. And so Wisconsin's not <laughs> high on anybody's list right now. <laughs> Richard offered to dance for us in his kilt, so you might want to travel to Colorado. <laughs> I don't have a kilt. I do have a dress. <laughs> I don't know if I'd want to see that. <laughs> I think the altitude is good for that, but right? <laughs> yeah, 
Got a lot of heads shaking. No. <laughs> <laughs> Cross the screen. Okay. No. No. No kilt or dress. Pants. The food's good, but the temperature's not so good. <laughs> <laughs> Any other cool place to visit? Carol's in a county in Mon Montana, I think, that has no COVID cases. Oh wow! So oh. we could all go there. Yeah. <laughs> Montana. Hey, hey Kay. Really Where's Kay? Oh, you, there's, only, there's only animals in Montana, right? I'm sure us going there would help <laughs> the COVID <laughs> cases if we all just went there tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> That's what my five-year-old said. She said, "Don't tell them that because if they come." COVID. <laughs> Smart. Smart yeah, kid. Yeah. Help the COVID count. We could all just go and quarantine for two weeks and uh, and then just let loose. Hey, Leanne. Yes. I was. Is Kay still on there? I was trying to find out if Kay which, was from which Florida. Which Kay? We have lots of Ks. Which Kay? <laughs> Kay from Florida? I don't know. Not. Kay Farrell, Kay, Carol, Kay Ratzla. She had the beach scene behind her. Oh, that's Kay Ratzla. That's Kay Ratzla. <laughs> Kay Ratzla. <laughs> yes. Kay, are yes. you in Florida? Yes, Tampa. Wait. The beach, no less. I was, I just spent three weeks in Tampa. I wish I would have known you. I, come on back. We'll connect. <laughs> as long as I you wear be, your mask. I will be. My, I, I did. My son is in the Air Force there. Oh, and just relocated. You were a hop, skip, and a jump from our office then. If you were in down at McGill. Wow. Yeah. We're, we're I was. 10 minutes. And while, while that might be a virtual background, that's actually pretty accurate for where she is. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> right. Exactly. Oh, well, you know, the best place to go. Kay, I guess you have been down to Fort, um, what, DeSoto? Have you oh, been to yes. Fort DeSoto, I guess? Oh, yes. Cause that is, is that, is that beach still like the famous one in the world? Well, Caladesi and Fort Sosoto are both like top in the top five all the time. Yeah. Okay. Clear water. Beautiful. Clear water beach clear as water, well. Clear water as well. Right. Indian Rock, Treasure no, Island. We have a few. DeSoto. Right. Yep. Come see us. Let me know. I'll meet you at the beach anytime. <laughs> you guys, I just spotted Bob Brasher in the room. I did. Bob's in here. Bob's in, here. <laughs> Bob's in the house. <laughs> hey. he, he came up to the suite. Speak up, Bob. You're right here. I can't find him. Bob, watch out. I'll find you and I'll highlight you. He was, you. Early. He was <laughs> he's, earlier. He's, he's got to unmute, there. though. <laughs> 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 yeah, yes, he, he does have to unmute. He does. Have he to tried unmute. to sneak in all incognito. Yeah, and no, he, not he happening. Got out mm -hmm. and <laughs> not happening. Bob Breischer, it's great to see you. So good to see all of you. Oh, hey, how you doing? Hey, there you are. <laughs> <laughs> cheers. All. Cheers. Yes. All the pretty okay. people. Hey. Cheers. Cheers. Making all cheers. Cheers, Kay, dear. Cheers. <laughs> cheers. Mary Ann Siller. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Glad to see Mary you. Ann. So great to see you, Bob. Yeah. Good to see you. Rob. So you had two great questions to kind of work out with your group. Do you guys want to give it a shot at a game? Hmm? You want to try one? Game. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to launch a poll. Oh. Your choices are hmm. home. You might not know any of these games. That's okay. I'll teach you. Home Quest, APH Feud, Incoherent. <laughs> Scatterbories or trivia. And I will add, Leanne, unless you plan something different, trivia is actually APH specific oh, trivia. Yeah. APH oh, yeah. APH specific oh, trivia. Yeah. Okay. Oh, wow. Mm. For us veterans. <laughs> it's tough. <laughs> That's more, a more of a learning Do we have to experience. The rules? Okay. Huh? Do we have to follow the rules? Because our group <laughs> wasn't too good at that. So I <laughs> Oh, Are you still going going to have a fan? That's okay. That's okay. <laughs> Depending on the game, you might not even go into your group. It'll just be a free for all. 
Mm -hmm. I'm waiting for votes to come in. I'm going to give it one more, one more minute. Let you guys I find that poll. Rumble. Let's I'm not see what happens. Go. Technically, Amy and I are the only ones who can't vote. Yeah, but everybody else can. But but yeah, you made them. Um, you don't get to answer. Well, you you got to fun. see them all. You don't get to answer. How's that? <laughs> uh, right, right. Okay, I sent one. It looked like. Okay, I'm going to stop. We've got a majority of us who have clicked a button and the winner this time is category. So give me a second. Let me pull it up. It takes me one second to get it up on my screen. <laughs> That's so for those of you who have or have not played categories, categories is where a wheel will be spun with certain alphabet letters. Okay that wheel i will read out so just because it's visual doesn't mean you have to be able to see it i'm going to say it anyway so know that that is going to happen then i'm going to show and read and place in the chat let's see how fast i am the areas that you need to complete using that letter so we're gonna we're gonna attempt something right now just pretend i said the letter b as in Bravo. And then I gave you the category, a boy's name. Bill. You would type it on either a document or a um, post-it note on your computer or on your phone so that you will have a few categories and then you're gonna paste them into the chat. You got three minutes to come up with them. We'll see how you do. So what you wanna do is you wanna open up a Word document or a um, note, something that something you can copy and paste from. Notepad. Okay. Notepad. Yep, you can use Notepad. It's so any of those. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Got something open? Wait a minute. Is, he supposed, is it the idea to come up with as many that fit that letter as possible? I, you will get that letter, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you 12 items, and I'll continually read those out for those that need that. So that's okay. Oh, Don't worry item. about it. Okay? Like, it would be a boy's name, an animal, things that are cold, an insect. Well, I think what, I think what Paul's asking, do they write down, like, a bunch of different ones? Like, do you go Bob, Brad, Bill? Uh, no, three? one for each. One for each. The, the alliteration is allowed. So Bob Brasher for B would end up with two points because that B is in both names. Okay. He, he would win that one with two points right there. Okay. Question, does it have to be a real person's name or it can be any Billy Bob, anybody? You, you could be Billy Bob if you want. I'm, okay. I'm good with that. I'm, I'm game. That works for me, and I will talk to my little friend G O O L E over there, and and he will keep my timer for me. So we will have a timer at the same time. So, are you ready to see the wheel first? You ready? I'm going to share the wheel. You can watch the wheel spin. Okay. Let's see what letter comes up. Here we go. It has spun. It has landed on the letter J, as in Jack. My husband will be mad at me. Jack is probably not the J for J in the alphabet game. You have the idea. So what do we okay. do with Jay? So now, hold on, hold on to Jay. I am going to share the slide that you're going to use to answer Jay. And ah, hold on, it moved onto my wrong side of the wrong side of my um, screen, which would mess me up. I can't see any of you, and I really do want to see you. Okay, I will share my PowerPoint. Okay, get ready to see the categories. One through 12, here is the first 
list. And I will read them out for those that cannot see them. So realize I'm going to read them out. So those of you that don't want to hear me, turn me off. Here we go. A boy's name. A verb. An animal. Things that are cold. Insects. A TV show. Things that grow. A fruit. Things that are green. School subject. Movie titles, musical instrument. I'll read it again. A boy's name, a verb, an animal, things that are cold. Insects, a TV show, things that grow, a fruit, things that are green, school subjects, a movie title a musical instrument. I'm going through it one more time. A boy's name, a verb, an animal, things that are cold, insects, TV show, Things that grow, fruit, things that are green, school subjects, movie title, musical instrument, and your time has almost run out. Get ready. And now is the time to copy and paste into the chat what you came up with. How many points did you end up with? Well, Mary had a G. I actually think our letter was J. So you have created your own wonderful list of G's. I'm looking to see what movies people came up with. That I thought was going to be a hard one. And it looks like it wasn't as hard as I thought. I came up with jumping, jumping Jack Flesh. So at least I got two out of that one. Oh, I see someone else who had Jumping Jack flash in there. And Jumanji. How many people found a fruit? Let's stop sharing, let you see each other easier. How many found a fruit? Did anyone come up with a, a jackfruit? Oh yes, uh, Jim Kreiner had jackfruit. I couldn't jack think of fruit. that. Jackfruit, that was one of them. For something green, I put Jello. Does that count? <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 green Jello is what is the favorite of a hospital usually. Um, so I, I think that that fits. Anyone else come up with a green, green item that's J? Jade. Jade. Oh, that's a good one. Didn't Jalapeno. think about jalapeno. That that would have been it. Delicate. Definitely. 
most creative name that you wouldn't have thought of? Anyone come up with a unique J name? Okay, Scott, was that a musical instrument? What is that? Jalatharagam. Did I say that right? Yeah, I Googled it actually. I was like, you totally Googled. <laughs> <laughs> disqualified well Ra ralph wrote jew's harp is that a special harp i've never heard of it but it might be the thing you put up against your lips and, and gave out my boyfriend actually plays that <laughs> neat uh, neat very cool okay. it's a two thousand year old instrument actually that, that one i wouldn't have known so did anyone get 12 so how many people got 12 out of this crew? I see I one. Know. I saw one person. I think, yeah, one I think person Jim. Did. Jim Kreiner, I think at uh, the moment. I see your 12. You credit for me on my uh, school subject or not. Oh, what was your school <laughs> subject? Sorry, what was your school subject? That's number 10. I said Jim. <laughs> Jim. <laughs> if you spend all your time in Jim, that's how you'd spell it. I got 50%, uh, yeah, and that's not good in school terms, but if we were playing baseball, that's pretty darn good. That, that's, that's pretty good in baseball. You're right. You, you did pretty good in baseball. Okay, you want to try one more? Sure. You ready? Get your thinking brain on. Okay. Let me pull up the wheel. Let's see what we come up with. I lost my wheel. I've got to go find my wheel again. We should have used our <laughs> braille print braille spinner. <laughs> Use, <laughs> we, we could have. Yes, we could have. I, I did not think of that. Okay. That's okay. Okay. Yeah, we'll have to remember that next time. We'll, we'll get the braille spinner. I don't have one at my house. That, see, ship me one. S send me one. Send me one. Okay, here we go. Ready for the spin? Off we go. What letter will it be? Oh, you just skated by the E and it got to F. F as in foxtrot. I guess you now can't use the word foxtrot for anything, but okay. Let me share this again. Uh, I need you guys all disappear again. I gotta switch it. It's one bad thing about it being a little, I have to move it every time. Okay. So what was the letter, everyone? F. F. Okay. Just making sure everybody knows the letter. You're ready for round two. Here we go. This one. Which one? Wrong picture. That one. I have no clue what you're seeing right now. It's not what it's supposed to be. <laughs> Let me stop sharing. That was, that was not what was supposed to be shared. It's not giving me my choice. So hold on. Let me give you the right choice. That was the categories uh, PowerPoint, you know? It, but it was like the, it wasn't in, in screen form, screen sharing. You, you were seeing everything, I think, right? Yeah. Okay, get ready for round two. F as in foxtrot. Here you go. The first one, a country. A cartoon character. A holiday. Things that are round. Clothing. A noun. Games, a sports star, breakfast food, gifts, toys, things in the kitchen. The first one again, a country. A cartoon character, a holiday, things that are round, clothing, 
a noun. Games. A sports star. Breakfast food. Gifts. Toys. Things in the kitchen. Back to number one. A country. A cartoon character. A holiday. Things that are round. Clothing. A noun. Games. A sports star. Breakfast food. Gifts. Toys. Things in the kitchen. I'll read it one more time. A country. A cartoon character. A holiday. Things that are round. Clothing. A noun. Games, a sports star, breakfast food, gifts, <coughs> toys, things in the kitchen. Okay. Time to copy and paste in that chat. What did you come up with? The letter was F as in Foxtrot. How did you do? What do you think? Which one was the hardest? My goodness. I did. Uh, fourth, fourth of July. Fourth of oh, July. It was right there. Wow. I couldn't. Someone else says Father's Day. Oh, Alaya, Fred Flintstone, two points for that one. <laughs> nice job. I mean, far, far away from work isn't considered a holiday. <laughs> <laughs> if I could play, mine was going to be Friday. My, I'm not oh. good at the game, so I'm glad that I'm disqualified from playing. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think far, far away, if you watch Shrek, works really well. So any other hard ones? Games was kind of Games, hard. games. Did anyone come up? Oh, someone has, I see Emily has fast pitch softball. Flag football. Flag football. Oh, football. Hmm. OK. Yeah. And flag football, you get two Fs out of that one. I like frosted flakes. That was a good one somebody put. Frustration. Frustration mm -hmm. is a game. Frustration, that is a game. You're yeah, right. It's a card game. Okay. I, I tried see. to write. I, oh, go for it. What did you write? I tried to write foosball, but it came out goosal. <laughs> 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 but foosball works. It does. But Anyone else? Cheers. Have what was that? Cheers. I just said cheers. <laughs> cheers. <laughs> I see Felix the cat as one of those uh, cartoon yeah. characters, oh, and I see one. Flash Gordon. I think Fred Flintstone still wins for me. Oh, Fred from Scooby-Doo. That's right. He was a, he was one. I don't know Ferdinand. Is Ferdinand a cartoon character? I don't know that one. Yes. Yeah, very good one. Okay. Very, Ferdinand very. Ferdinand the Bull. Ferdinand the Bull. I didn't realize he was a cartoon. Well. I'll have to look for it. Story, maybe. He might have been it, in a cartoon. It was a Disney short. It was a Disney short. Okay. Okay. Sports stars. 
That was tough. What is what is Frankie Frisch, and what sport is it? That he was, was an, tough. He played baseball way back, long before way any of us were born. Been. Okay. Okay. What was the other? Anyone have another sports star? Favre. Favre. Oh yeah. <gasps> Brett Favre. Favre. Okay. Yes. 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 Oh, that was Federer, the tennis player. Yeah. Better. 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 I couldn't spell it or pronounce it, so I'm two That's for okay. two. That's okay. I'm just as bad as okay. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Okay. So, how how did we do on points? Did anyone get twelve? I thought I did. Or more with the doubles, if you have one. Jillian, you might have. If I get to count this fighting as a game, I get twelve. <laughs> <laughs> this I couldn't think of a game, so I put fist fighting. <laughs> <laughs> I can think of a lot of uh, uh, adolescent boys who would call that a game, just like you know, they're <laughs> siblings, you know, whatever. I I could I could see that as well. Okay, so who has the most points here? Type in the chat how many points you have so far. Oh, what you got so far? With game one and game two together, what you got? Do we have to? No, nope, you don't have to. Nine. You don't have to. It's okay. You're, you're welcome to, but you don't have to. I'm just kind of curious how we're doing here. And if I definitely need to see if we can break a tie. While people are counting, I put forks for both a gift and a thing in the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> You're giving forks. How yeah. nice. Mom, I got you a fork. <laughs> <laughs> Moms would accept it. Moms yeah. would take the fork. It's the Definitely. gift that keeps on giving all year <laughs> round. <laughs> okay. Well, I, I, need to know if I, created a, I need to know if I created a word with the first game because I see someone wrote June bug and I wrote Jigabug and I, I actually don't know if Jigabug is a word. <laughs> I think I was trying to think of June bug. So I'll take that away. <laughs> Being honest. Wow, thank you. <laughs> I never heard of it. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. Okay, hold on to your points. We're going to do our round three and then see who has one out of our group. Okay, let's try this again. Let me pull up our wheel. Share my wheel. I can't do a numbering system. Okay. Here we go. Ready? Let's mm -hmm. see what letter shows up. It looks like the letter S as in Sierra. S as in Sierra. Okay. I'm going to get up round three. And I'll push a button to make it show up again as it keeps disappearing on me. There it is. Okay, get ready. Here comes round three. What was the letter again? Yes. S says in Sierra. Here we go. Round three. Number one. School supplies. Things that are hot. Pizza toppings. A girl's name. Fears. A TV star. An adjective. Sports equipment, college or university, item you save to buy, candy, 
things with tails, T-A-I-L-S. Number one again, school supplies. Things that are hot. Pizza toppings. A girl's name. Fears. A TV star. Adjective. Sports equipment. A college or university. An item you save to buy. Candy. Things with tails. Number one again. School supplies. Things that are hot. Pizza toppings. A girl's name. Fears. A TV star. An adjective. Sports equipment. A college or university. Items you save to buy. Candy. Things with tails. Do you want to hear it one more time? One more. One more time. Last time. Here we go. Number one, school supplies. Things that are hot. Pizza toppings. A girl's name. Fears. A TV star. An adjective. Sports equipment. A college or university. Item you save to buy. Candy. Things with tails. Okay, time to throw it in the chat. How did you do? The letter S is usually a favorite letter when you place categories. This is one that we're usually able to come up with quite a few answers. How did you do? I'm going to bet I have quite a few 12s from everyone. I wonder how many of you got some alliteration going on and had a double S or even a triple S. How'd you do? I'm curious about the universities because Salus, of course, was, has been mentioned uh, to today. So I was curious how many Salises we would have. My brain went to Syracuse. I uh, worked in Syracuse and lived next to Syracuse University for about 10 years. So I was curious if I'd see any of those. I see a San Francisco State. That was also mentioned today. Shenandoah. I'm trying to look at some of the other ones that were in there. I see some Salus. <coughs> Stanford. I didn't think of that one. That was a good one. I don't know Shenandoah, but it's got a beautiful name. Southern Baptist, another Stanford. Who, oh, who did the Syracuse? Jillian, that's the one I thought of was Syracuse. So how'd you do? Did anyone get a 12? How many of you got a 12 out of that one? I did, that one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 
What it fancy depends if things? Snails have tails. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, I wonder how many of you came up with a, a item that you would save to buy. I saw spa and sports car and summer home and sailboat. What else did you come up with in there? Subaru Outback. Keep your dreams low and you can accomplish them. <laughs> <laughs> that, 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 that works. You've got to have some place to save it. I don't know. It was awful. <laughs> <laughs> Not at all. I, some of those I, were good. I said sports car, but I should have said swim spa because we're actually saving for one of those right now. <laughs> Darn it. We're going to double. Swim spa, that's right. It would have been a double, wouldn't it? That would have been good. Did anyone have a alliteration? Well, I see a alliteration with a girl's name, Sally Sue. Mm, that's good. And someone has sassy socks. Or was that sassy is one word and socks was another answer? <laughs> <laughs> Did anyone else have any alliteration? Okay, Marianne, what is semhanophobia? Halloween. Oh. It's a fear of Halloween. I looked it up. I looked it up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it, sound, it sounded good. <laughs> it, it does, it does. Okay, did anyone get to pick their favorite candy with it, an S? Was there any Skittles. favorite? Skittles. Snickers. Yeah. Snickers. Chris Skittles. Snickers, yeah. Yeah, mine is the Three Musketeer bar. Wrong letter. Okay, any other interesting answers before we add up and see where we got? So for the school supplies, I saw a lot of scissors. I couldn't think of that. And I thought with COVID this year, the school supply was sanitizer. So that's, oh, yeah. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Like soap. For <laughs> school supplies, I did slate and stylus. That was oh, cool. That's a good one. I see an old one, a slide rule. Yeah. Mm. I was trying to think of stencil and I put stamps. I don't know. I see stencil. I see sharpener and lots of scissors. And just so you all know, my kids' school list, the teachers sent home at the beginning of the year, soap and sanitizer is always on it, so that counts. <laughs> it does, it definitely does. <laughs> <laughs> and I saw lots of soccer balls for our sports equipment, but I did see a shot put and a sand pit. And did anyone come up with anything else? Skates. Skates. Mm, that's oh, yeah. real good. Shin guards. Uh -huh. So you guys did really good. Woohoo. Okay, so you've now had round one, two, and three. What is your total? What did you get to? What is your total? You got Paul at 27, Melanie's at 29, Amy's at 26. What is your total? Jillian at 33 with her doubles. Brenda at 26. Trish at 32. You can count your French work. We won't go anything against the French people here. Craig at 32. <laughs> Anthony at 26. Marie at 31. Woohoo! You, you, you got them 32 in there. That's high. I wrote uh, try to write, write soupy, you know, the, this isn't, you have to be around my age to remember, I think he's soupy sales. Soupy sales, yes. Soupy oh, sales, yeah. yes, I know soupy <laughs> sales. For some reason it came out snoopy sales. <laughs> 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 so, uh, thank you, thank you for auto, auto correct. <laughs> Autocorrect, yes, autocorrect auto can do that sometimes, can't it? Yeah. Okay, well, you have had now the opportunity to do a couple different things in our meet and greet. I'm not sure how many of you stuck with us from the beginning or if some people have hopped in in the middle because that happens up in our suite quite frequently. People hop in and out. So you've now played categories online. See, it's actually possible. Yeah. You can actually play online games. It's different. But you can do it. <laughs> yeah, you're braver than me, Leanne. I get all like, how are we going to do that? I don't know. And you're just <laughs> Well, see, you've had the opportunity to see that it's possible. And um, 
I don't, I've heard that our Wheel of Names is technically an accessible website. It's not ours. It's just one I found online. I have not tested that one out, but it's free called Wheel of Names. So if someone wants to go test that one out and see how accessible it is, it is just a free way and you can add in names, you can add in anything you want. I just put the alphabet letters minus some letters that I did not want to be picked. God forbid we had gotten Q or Z, <laughs> really hard. So that was a elimination game and we still actually have other items available to us. But before we disappear, we've got about nine more minutes. So I actually want to give you guys the opportunity to share amongst yourselves what you are looking forward to for tomorrow. And if you can't join us tomorrow, what you're looking forward to on Friday. What is the one session or person or item you want to see or hear about or know about? Where are you going tomorrow or Friday? Oh, crickets, crickets. Well, you know, since uh, Craig is my boss, I better say I'm really looking forward <laughs> to the company address tomorrow. Really looking forward to it. Always the highlight of my annual meeting. There you go. <laughs> William, this is Karen. Should we shamelessly, like, just plug our, our embossers? Would you, yes, you, you know what? <laughs> At annual meeting in the suite, you would have told people what you're doing tomorrow. Okay. Go so, ahead. Tell us. Well, it's what, 2.30 tomorrow? Is that right, William? <laughs> oh, yep. don't ask me. Okay. <laughs> so it's, uh, yeah, we're looking, so we're looking forward to it. Okay, and it's about what embossers? It's about the Pix Blaster and Page Blaster embossers, but we're also going to give people that maybe don't know a peek at the APH process. And that I think will be interesting mm -hmm. for folks, like the testing that we do and how mm -hmm. we work with the people in the field to refine uh, the products and things that we put out. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Something a little different. Anyone else? I'll say what I'm going to miss that I wish I could be in. That's the keynote. So hopefully it'll be recorded or something. I've got to go to a, a Rock County Health Department meeting and I kind of have to go to that one. So you just put your little earbud in, and put it on your phone, and no one would know. But yes, no it would, one would be recorded. Know, but I have to concentrate on all the data they're giving me. And that doesn't come easy to me. <laughs> no, he uh, he will be. It will be recorded, so we will be Wonderful. recording it. But yeah, but do right. give us about a week to get these posted, and and yeah. forgive Anthony and his team because they're going to go crazy with posting. Next week. Great, thank you. We're He's going to be in the open though. hall tomorrow, too, for an hour. Yes. If you want to stop in and say hello. Thanks for that. Another opportunity. Anything else you're looking forward to, want to see? So this is Don. I think I, I always love the um, sort of state of APH and learning more about EOT roles and learning from my uh, mentors, but I am kind of looking forward to the service to students during COVID panel discussion. I think um, it's probably on all of our minds. And as I work with LEAs on a very regular basis about uh, how, how they're doing the things they're doing, <laughs> I'm looking forward to hearing people brainstorm and share what they're doing. Very neat. Very cool. Insights art because I want to hear Rob's descriptions of the art. They're uh, impeccable. Yes. I second that, that Paul. I second that. I, I love listening to Rob talk about the art. He's, he definitely has a passion for it. So it's, it's a good time. I'm looking forward to the, um, the Barriga program, oh. the new one. Yeah, since I'm a Barriga mm -hmm. baby. <laughs> Uh, I had that blue kit in my house and car many, mm, many, many years. <laughs> yeah. and, and the Lego. I'm a huge Lego fan and a lot of my kids are. Ah. Yeah, so that's going to be fun. Lots of good things there. Always. <laughs> so one of the things, in case you didn't catch our podcast, tomorrow most of the sessions are webinars which again is that panel type group and you have the ability to chat and in the chat but you don't really have a whole bunch of control over your mic and your camera on friday get ready ready for the wild rodeo okay 
just like if you've been to annual meeting before and you've been up in the spire and you're kind of bumping shoulders with people and you're down in the section where you are wandering through the services tables and, and talking to people, that is what it's going to feel like in information fair because everyone, and I mean everyone, will have the ability to see each other and talk. It will be more like annual meeting where you're seeing the people you know and not in the isolated format of a webinar. So just realize Friday is going to feel different. It's supposed to make you feel just a little bit more like you're with us up in that spire or down in the hallway with us at the service showcase. So just realize that, okay? What time is that again? Uh, the first session, oh, you, you would ask me. I've got pull up oh, my never, schedule. Oh, I can look ha, it up. Ha, 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 ha. <laughs> I'm going to miss the I'll, pretzel I'll with the mustard. <laughs> oh, okay. From 9 to 10 is the first general session, which is kind of looking at our archives, really special time with that in a section of APH that is brand new and most people have not seen. And then from 10 to 11 is our first info fair. These are short half hour sessions. That's purposeful just like you would have moved around into lots of tables and see lots of people, you're going to have those wild rides of seeing a lot of things in short periods of time. And that's purposeful. So it starts at 10 a.m. East Coast time. And then you have uh, 11 to 1230 is our general session two, which is our panel discussion about adult and transition services during COVID. And then from 1245 until 345 are bunches of info fair sections that you get to pick a total of six out of all of them. Three in the first hour and a half and then three in the second hour and a half. And then we end with the concurrent session with children and services to children during COVID. And then we have our insights art. I don't have my whole schedule up. My insights art. And then we have a closing ceremony that I sure hope you don't miss that has been specially made for this environment and for you. Okay, any questions before I say good evening? And you guys can go take your beverage of choice off to the television if you are debate watching or off to a place where you can socialize with family. And I wish you all a good evening. And uh, Leanne, I would like to say quickly, if any, uh, first off, thank you for the, uh, the final 27 of you that stuck around. We're like the people who closed down the bar um, uh, in, at Hyatt. So, but I just put my email in the chat. If anybody has any ideas or feedback about the reception tonight, um, if you have any topic ideas for tomorrow night, um, feel free to email me tomorrow. I'd love to hear what you all have to say. Um, what worked, what didn't work, because we have another night of this tomorrow. Uh, we have a few ideas, a few more games, um, but I'd love to hear from you guys since you didn't get around to getting your topics. So let me know. Thank you okay. so much for putting this together. Really appreciate it. Yes, absolutely. Very nice. We, we have this was fun. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Enjoy Thanks. the evening. Thank you all. Good night, all. Stay safe, everyone. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. Good night. Have a good night, Miss Laura. Thank you, Leanne. Thanks for all your help. <laughs> we'll be back again tomorrow. We'll be back again tomorrow. <laughs> Bye. Good night.